said he's a geek. Some kids have told him that he's worthless to go hang himself. And I think he got to the point where enough was enough. Tonight, a tragic situation. A Perkins boy, just 11 years old, believed to have been desperate enough to take his own life. That is a clip from the documentary called Bully. It is out in selected theaters right now. It's a really disturbing subject, bullying, that too often we as parents don't want to talk about, but we really should and we need to. Russ Leatherman joins me now. Uh, what did you think of this film? It looks very powerful. It is powerful. It's an incredible movie, and I really hope that everybody gets to see it. Like you say, it's a, it's a subject that, that we know exists, that, but a lot of times we sort of don't oh. take any kind of action. And I think it's critical oh. that, that parents see this yeah. movie oh, yeah. and that they take their kids to see this movie and it they, they talk about insane. it because it, it goes on. It's, it's going on in your kid's school right now, maybe even with your kids, you and you need to figure out how to deal with it. That's for sure. Talk about the rating controversy because I know there was some back and forth about that. The Motion Picture Association of America uh, slapped the movie with an R rating which is kind of ridiculous, right? Because you've got a movie like Hunger Games where you have kids running around killing each other, but you've got a few F-bombs from real kids in real situations, and the movie gets slapped with an R. So the studio decided to release the movie unrated with no rating, which frankly makes it difficult because a lot of theaters simply won't play movies without ratings. And, for example, the AMC theater chain has decided that they're going to treat it as an R, but if a child brings a permission slip, uh, with them from their parents to see it, they're going to let them in. So it's really just making it more difficult to see the movie than uh, had, say, the studio decided to just bleep those few F-bombs and, and go ahead and, and put it in, in theaters with a PG-13 rating. So it's, it's sort of interesting because I think they're making it more difficult for people and kids to see the movie when they should. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the fact that there's been all of this ratings controversy means that it's gotten a ton of publicity. I've been talking about it. We're talking about it right now. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I think less kids are going to be able to see it right now, but everybody's talking about it, and that's super important. Yeah, in fact, let's watch another clip of it quickly here. Look. Kids will be kids. Boys will be boys. They're just cruel at this age. Here, what we get is nothing's wrong. We didn't do anything. Everything's fine. They punch me, strangle me, take things from me, sit on me. Give it to him hard! He's not safe on that bus. I've been on that bus. They are just as good as gold. Wow. I mean, this brings tears to my eyes watching it. I, I'm going to go see it myself, Mr. Movie Film. But it's not, not everybody can see this where they live. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. It's only in New York and Los Angeles right now, and it's going into more cities in two weeks. And it's interesting, even the clip we saw there, you know, the movie doesn't necessarily shed the best light on schools and, and maybe how the administrators deal with the subject of bullying. And, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, uh, from my opinion, and I think you even mentioned that you were bullied in high school. I was bullied in high school to the point where I was put in the hospital mm. because a cowboy in Wyoming decided to smash me because I was different and, and looked different and came from California. Um, I have to tell you that as far as uh, schools go, they have to have a zero tolerance policy for bullies. If they see, think somebody is bullying, they got to get them out of this school. But more than that, parents have to have a zero tolerance policy mm -hmm. with bullying and the schools and their kids. And if you think that your kid is being bullied, um, you got to you got to go deal with the school. And then if if they're not dealing with it the way you want, you got to get the kid out of that school yeah. because kids aren't making this stuff up. It's just not oh boys will be boys. No. The truth is. With, with the internet, and, and which adds a whole new level to this problem, uh, kids are mean. And not all kids, but some kids are really, really mean. And you need to protect your child from those kids. And provide them a safe place, too, to, to report it and not feel like, you know, they're going to be a target again. Mr. Movie Phone, That's thank exactly you. right. Yeah, really uh, appreciate it. My pleasure, it. my pleasure. Have a great weekend. Sure. And if you want more information about the Bully movie or its cause, you can go to thebullyproject.com. I encourage you to do that. You can also download the Bully permission slip at AMC Theaters' website.